previously on Follow the Leader. I sort of want to do a Bacchanal. Okay. Ooh. But have it take place at a shitty club. Yes! yes. Hell yeah! Yes. That's my favorite! Let's so, go! <laughs> um, whoever wants to be at the Bacchanal can be at the Bacchanal. Me! Except like for a, my cat. Yeah. I feel like this is like even maybe like a nightclub that is known for like, like known among like mm-hmm. supernatural creatures for being like like a social hub you know mm-hmm. what i mean like a gay yes. bar but for werewolves <laughs> yeah. but, all, but like a gay bar for gay werewolves <laughs> and vampires okay um so reuben is wearing like you know those corsets that look like vests jesus christ yup why are it. we all like this one of those <laughs> They they look like they're going to a club. They're wearing like a corset vest and like skin tight pants. Um, but the thing that you notice about them is that they're limping, and they look Ooh. a little, just like a little bit tired. Like it's just like their eyes look a little sunken, but they are like still full of energy and like, you know, dancing their ass off. But I don't know, just. I'm kind of here because I just, I want to help you guys somehow. I just, <laughs> I don't think it's fair that you all have to hide like this. I think I want to do an odyssey and I want to have, I want to have Garion travel to the city where his old sire is like king, basically. I say king. Okay. He's like the leader of the supernatural underworld he's like got the entire town in his iron fist type Mm -hmm. like you don't cross this man he's he's you know the guy we now return to your game already in progress let's start with a round of soliloquies um so going in turn order it starts with me and i think i am first i have to get back into this rowdy gal mindset um (laughs) which is going to be interesting and fun um but i have chosen i think under like the gods of good soliloquies options there's one that says there's a war brewing between two mortal kingdoms and you have disguised yourself as a mortal walking among the soldiers of both sides and i think what that has turned into is that like Harley has been spending a lot of time like both hanging out at like werewolf hangout spots and then also like putting on like a hoodie or whatever and going and hanging out in like monster hunter bars and Mm. like trying to figure out to see if like she can she hears anything like incriminating and so that's what she's been doing for the past two or so weeks. Great. Nice. Um, I'm uh, also doing a Gods of Good soliloquy, and uh, what I am doing is you have created something entirely new, and it has proven to be more dangerous than it is worth. Um, because, and I said this at the end of the last recording, but there, I think it's just a shot of uh reuben in their shop um after like a long day um and they are just they just like they've been limping around and they just like tug their pants up and the the like the from the ankle up 
um, and there's this just this silver embedded into their calf that's just it's just spread and they just mm. like grimace at it like oh god I made a mistake mm. All right. Um, for Vesper, um, I'm choosing the uh, one of the moral hero ones. I've changed it a little bit. Just um, it's a, you know a supernatural being has taken you as a lover. You are bewitched, mind and soul, and lose weeks or perhaps months to your new love. Oh God. So it's not oh, anybody Vesper. in specific. Vesper is just like Vesper has been keep keeps on going to like that same like oh, monster Vesper. monster like bar or whatever under the pretense of like you know, like, hanging out with these people, like, figuring out, like, what he can do for, like, whatever the cause, but, like, he's kind of lying to himself about that, and it's just, like, thinks monsters are really hot, and it's just been hooking up with a bunch of monsters. Mm-hmm. Oh, my he's goodness. He's definitely hooked up with Ruben a couple more times then, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's probably been, like, so is that, like, silver, like, part of the whole, like, thing, or... Uh... Don't worry That's about it. Ruben answers. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's... <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. They just they mm-hmm. just avoid answering that question for the most part. Okay, right. I don't think v- Vesper really notices. I think Vesper is just pretty distracted. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's so valid. Okay. Um. So I'm going to be using one of the mortal heroes soliloquies and um. It's going to be, you spend time socializing, drinking, and carousing in a foreign place. Uh, basically, this is uh, this is Saul trying to sort of gather some information on what may have happened to the vampire. And uh, you discover an assassin sent to kill you, which isn't an assassin necessarily, but I think that she gets roughed up as she's trying, as she's getting on the, the right trail. Um, so she may get roughed up by some folks who are displeased with her asking around. Are these like monsters Mo- or are uh, these no, other monster, monster hunters? Other monster hunters. Okay. That fits very nicely into what I had. I, is it my turn now? It is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cool. That fits very nicely into mine. Um, the soliloquy I'm choosing is just that something else happens. Mm-hmm. What is it? Um, And I went to visit my sire, and he treated me to tea and information. Mm. He shared with me that he had heard tell that there was a camp of traveling hunters staying outside of my city, not his city, the city that I live in, Mm -hmm. who have a habit of treating our kind worse than our local hunters. These hunters have no respect for the personhood of our kind, and if it were him, he would choose to investigate there. He gave me no further information. Okay, so basically there's... So basically, yeah. yeah, there's possibly the hunters that roughed up um, who roughed up Saul were part of the, that camp of hunters mm-hmm. who have no respect for, you know, the personhood of non-humans. I mean, do most hunters, though? I mean, a lot of the... I would, I would say that the hunters who hang out in the bars of our kind probably understand that we're people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And are just, like, bounty hunters. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Or they're, like, around to stop the ones who get out of control. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like if you're good, you're good. Like if you don't if you don't cause any trouble, they won't give you any trouble. Mm-hmm. But like these new guys, like don't care. They're like, all vampires are monsters, and will you know will kill them on sight type people. Okay. So cool. But I wanted to include something about perhaps the concept of torture, but and then I was like, mm, I feel like that's going to be crossing one of our lines. Yeah. yeah lines. It also doesn't feel like the tone of this game. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Um, so like this game so is ridiculous like, supernatural romps with like a tiny dash of plot. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So like those those hunters were probably not going to find our lost boy. <laughs> right. Um, does Gary tell anyone any of these other characters about this? Um, I feel like once Gary gets back, he probably. Let's um Or wait, hold up. We can we can make that a scene. We can make actually. that a scene. Yeah. Whose turn is it next? It's mine. Okay. Um so my I guess yeah, so if it's my turn, I would like to have a conversation with I think probably it's like it's Gary and Harley and Soul in some kind of scene. Yeah. Um bup, bup, bup. 
FIFA? What are the kinds of scenes? I wrote this game and <laughs> I don't remember all the scene types. Um, uh, let's see. What what would this be? Um, I kind of like it being... I feel like Ambrosia makes sense. And I kind of like it being like the three of them agree to meet in like a neutral like a well-used neutral place because they're like kind of from like three factions that don't always like each other so like i bet there's yeah. a place that's like considered like true neutral ground <laughs> probably just like a random human diner in the middle of the night we're yeah. at an applebee's oh my god <laughs> we're at it we're, we're at an applebee's and no one's allowed to like do any murders at an Applebee's, so it's <laughs> just is a fucking god. <laughs> um, Holy no shit! No murders at Applebee's. No, yeah. you that's, our, know that's our fucking episode be. title. I was just gonna be like, I was just gonna be like, it has to be it's a, a Waffle House. But I was like, wait a second, you could totally do a murder in a Waffle House. What am oh, I saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, Waffle House is prime. As long as you rounds. tip well. Yeah, no, is it no a murders at Applebee's. No, Waffle Houses are actually. Waffle Houses are like the purge, except. In like a building location. <laughs> That's not true. Yep. That's not it true. It is, and you know it. I love Waffle House, but oh my god, Denny's is the purge. Denny's is the purge. Yes, okay, that that's is correct. correct. Yeah, Denny's is the purge. Yeah. Okay, Waffle House so is at, where people yeah. go to do murders, but get stopped by the staff with a kitchen knife. Right. Right. Waffle House. Right. Waffle that's, House employees take care. I of live that. in the north, and I've never been to a Waffle House or a Denny's, and I'm oh afraid. <laughs> Waffle House is so oh, fucking good. Poor soul. My parents yeah. and I once I went allergy. on a weekend trip to Pennsylvania because I was like, I want Waffle House today. Jesus. I well, wish I was Jesus. kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, we're not at a Waffle House. We're at an Applebee's. Thanks. Um, and so I think. I think, do you think, like, Garion would call the both of them? Um, yeah, he'd probably just sort of... Do they have a group chat? Oh, God. We might have a group chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We might have a group chat. We might have a group chat. Because they kind of, like, both, they all feel like kind of, like, not leaders of their respective communities, but, like, people who are well-connected within their respective communities. Yeah, for um, sure. They're, like... I wouldn't say leaders, but they're definitely just like mm -hmm. they're the people who are going to take point on this, and that other people will listen yeah. to. Okay, they're like the dads of their respective community. <laughs> they're the dads, except two of them are moms. Yeah, true. Yeah, there is a gender neutral Team word for moms. dads and moms, but you yeah, know, nobody knows what that is. <laughs> is it doms? <laughs> oh God, I don't know. If, oh listen. God, it's parents. You dumb. <laughs> Okay, so we're at an Applebee's. Um, we're at an Applebee's. You have to cut that out of the podcast. No, 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 absolutely no, not. No, no. No. <laughs> okay, so we're at Applebee's. Yes, we are here. Um, okay, so what have we ordered? We've ordered two things, two entrees for 20 bucks. Um, Don't say anything that's trademarked. We can't afford to pay okay. Applebee's. That's true. I'm sure someone at Applebee's HQ is listening to FTL. Um, okay, so we're uh, at... Bulgarian's not eating anything. He's sipping from a fucking, like, Capri Sun-looking bag of blood. Okay. Yeah, good. Um, all right, so I think we're... Yeah, let's just... Let's actually just open the scene where we're at a booth. We're all three of us around a booth at Applebee's. Um... I'm going to say a circular booth so we don't have to deal with that awkward problem of, like, who's going to, like, double up on one side of the booth. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad that we're thinking about this. I'm meanwhile, always thinking about this. Meanwhile, I'm thinking about Harley and Soul on one side of the booth and Gary on the other, and Harley and Soul just, like, looking at each other in perfect sync. Yeah, oh, that's, that's what I that's was thinking. Also, that's also a really good image. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck what I said. <laughs> They're, um, like, basically <laughs> dating, but they won't admit it. Right. And then, yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Love it. We'll get Am there. I wrong? Um, no, you're not. You're super not. Um, <laughs> I said we will get there. Um, okay. So, yeah, so we're here at the Applebee's. Um, and, Darian, why have you called us here? 
Um, so to start with, I guess I'll just say why I called you here is fairly simple. There is a pack of hunters in a little bit outside the city who have been who have traveled here and they are most likely responsible for the disappearance of our friend. I say our friend. He was young. I didn't really know him that well personally. But um, what I will say is that my sire was pretty um, vague about them. But all, and all I know about them is that they don't respect the supernatural as most of the hunters in this city do. That tracks. Yeah. I mean, so do you know anything about about this? Well, I don't know about this specifically, but when I was investigating, I got a black eye for my troubles. I was chasing down some out-of-towners and uh, couldn't get too close, but like I said, that tracks. Huh. Yeah, so what are we going to do about them? Garen sort of like looks at the two of these people and there's just like I mean we we should what we need to do is find out why they're here specifically I thought it was pretty clear that they just wanted to cause trouble right but why did they like there's a lot of cities where you can cause trouble why are they here well more importantly what can we do to get them to leave and leave uh "Quote unquote, our friend with us." Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing saying that our friend is still alive, right? But it sounds nothing like saying that they're not. Well, I didn't get the impression from my sire that uh, it was likely. Either way, we need them gone. Yeah, we need to get these people out of here. Or uh. We could always put a rabid dog down. Whichever. <laughs> I think that's when the Applebee's waiter comes by just in time to hear we're gonna have to put the rabid dog down. <laughs> oh my god. And it's like and it's like a skinny, like acne riddled, oh, no. like sixteen year old kid who's like looking between these like there's this like dandy twink vampire looking motherfucker and then these like two like very large very gruff women on the other side of the booth and none of them have ordered anything (laughs) Um, and like this kid is just like scared out of his goddamn mind oh no oh god oh no Kieran's just sort of like oh my god I'm so sorry Um, (laughs) what can I get you my friend who owns a farm don't don't even um this is fine Family dog. We love him very much. It's such a shame. We 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 have specials. Is that where the scene ends too? Yeah, Yeah. it's gotta be. It's gotta be. That's please beautiful. Please God. It's the best role playing I've ever done in my life. That was so good, y'all. God. So good. Okay. Well, I love how Garion immediately turns into this like awkward teenager as soon as like anything goes wrong. Right. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Is the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's true. As soon as he's dealing with humans who don't know that he's like fucking a billion years old, he mm-hmm. just becomes like this awkward teenager. Right. I love vampires. Yeah. No, it's just <laughs> such a good visual of like two buff women in like just really, like, grody clothing, and then, like, this fucker's got a cravat. (laughs) Yeah. It's incredible, honestly. It's very good. We've Mm -hmm. created a beautiful world here. We really have. Mm -hmm. We are in the Applebee's. Okay. I think it's your scene. It is Um, my scene. Yeah. And I'm really excited because I have no idea how this is going to work. Cool. At all. Perfect. Let's hear it. Because I want to do a reverie. Okay. Yeah. I want to do a reverie where anyone could be my partner. Sort of like, sort of like how Odyssey works, except in a dream mm-hmm. world. Mm. Okay. Um, I kind of want to do that. And I feel yeah. like we could also have it be that, like, because of, I think I think that because of the silver, there. are more susceptible Ruben is more susceptible psychically 
So someone I want to volunteer. I want to volunteer um, just because I really like the idea of werewolf like pack mind mind links. I love that. Yeah. I mean, Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, we all yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all of us are like uh-huh. we're all like that. Is what it's I'm saying. It's very good. I am also mm-hmm. thinking that it doesn't necessarily like like my thought was that it doesn't necessarily have to be a PC. Also, like mm-hmm. I sort mm-hmm. of like wanted really wanted to play to find out what happens this and be like it could be a hunter, it could be the vampire, it could be whoever. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like people just are you picturing like people like coming in and out of this dream? That could totally be what happens. Okay. I'm really okay. very much like I want to do a reverie because I love this game, this particular game. But I'm mm-hmm. like, it's sort of hard to right. figure out. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think that there yeah. can be a partner, quote unquote, because there's no real right. like God here. Um, yeah. But I still really want to do it. So I sort mm-hmm. of want to mess around and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'd love for it to be like, Ruben like being very susceptible to this like psychic intrusion and mm. like Harley specifically noticing because like even if Ruben were not this vulnerable like they would still be able to do this in a way right. um but like other people might drift in and out which is not normal yeah um which could be really interesting yeah so I sort of want to just like open this up and be like mm-hmm. like I'm definitely cool with this being like centering around harley and reuben but like if other people want to do a shift and come in and out like even if it's not Mm -hmm. your character like please Mm. do yeah let's fuck around with this yeah i'm very into this um so are you like is reuben asleep like are they are they dreaming or is this like something that happens in like a waking Yes, I think Ruben is asleep, and I think that they're dreaming, and I think that it's not a great sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't okay. think it's Can't great sleep why. at all. Yeah, I'm imagining like very much like the kind of like feverish state you get like when you're really sick, except it's like this this silver kind of mm-hmm. like yeah. almost I also parasitic think, in a way. Yeah, I also think that there's like it's like a cross between that. And, um, you know when, like, dogs dream and they, like, run in their sleep? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. So cute. Um, I, I think, yeah, actually, that's a good point. I think they, like, forced themselves, to, like, like, figured out how to shift on purpose to try and sleep as a wolf to see if that helped. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I don't so think they're, they're just, necessarily yeah. dreaming as a wolf. But I think they they are sleeping as a wolf, so they're sort yeah. of having wolfy dreams. Nice, <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, I, I, so I, I really think... wanted. I was like, wait, hold on a second. Last game, both scenes Ruben was in, they were a person. We need to mm-hmm. do uh, Ruben is a wolf. Right. Yeah, we got to get some wolves in there. All right. Um, yeah. Let's start the game. True. Okay. So I think like I think in that case. Um, I assume it's, like, nighttime, so I imagine this is, like, Harley is also asleep and, like, sort of ends up kind of getting drawn drawn into this dream simply by, like, the force of its vulnerability, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and this, this is not abnormal, but it's also, like, not normal. Um, yeah. What, a, what does she see as she, like, enters this dream? Um, Harley comes into, um, this forest that I think is, I think it's a nearby forest, so it's possible that she's been there before, but all the, and it, it, it's, so it's coniferous trees, I know how to say that now, um, Mm -hmm. but all the needles are, they're all still on the trees, but they're all brown. Okay. Like how, um, like how trees turn brown in the autumn except coniferous trees don't turn brown in the autumn it's like that it's like oh it's autumn wait a second coniferous trees are not supposed to look like this (laughs) right right okay and what does reuben look like right now like what are they doing 
Um, Reuben is stalking a rabbit. <laughs> As a wolf? As a wolf. Okay. Um, I think in that case, Harley immediately also shifts into, like, I think Harley probably just, like, enters the dream also as a wolf if, like, that's where Reuben is, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, Are we saying that wolves can talk when they're wolves? In a dream, certainly. Yeah, it's definitely in a dream. I imagine that, like, also, again, we're on our, like, psychic mind psychic werewolf bullshit. Yeah. Psychic werewolf bullshit. So, like, they can probably talk to at least each other. Yeah, okay. Um... Okay. I think, like, until Ruben says or does anything, Harley's just kind of going to hang back and watch what they're doing. Um, so, I, I want to throw in a shift really early. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh, Perfect. Something in the dream changes in size or scale. What is it? Mm. The rabbit. Ooh. Yeah. The rabbit just grows and grows until it's big until it's the size of a wolf and then gets bigger okay what does Ruben do um still attacks okay how does it go for them um fine it goes okay the rabbit is still (laughs) a rabbit it's just the size of a bear now (laughs) okay it's like kind of a struggle but because like it's bigger than Mm -hmm. them but they, they make it work. <laughs> okay. Um, they are think... still, they are, they like, they're co- sort of limping a little bit, which shouldn't be happening in a dream. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think at this point, Harley, like, just says, like, Ruben, where are we? I don't, I don't know. Did you... Did something happen? Um... They sit and, like, shake the leg that in the... In their human form has got Mm -hmm. the silver in it, and it's really stiff. Um... Okay. But they don't answer any further than that. Can I... Go for it. I was going to say, a fear of yours becomes material here. What do you fear and what shape does it take? Is that mine still? I mean, I guess it's mine. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. It's your dream. I think there's the sound of a gunshot and footsteps um, breaking on branches. And Mm. someone shouts and Ruben just, just sort of like backs away can i add a detail which is that this gunshot sounds like it's coming from a gun that is hundreds of years old like from the time that like guns were first invented this doesn't sound like a modern gunshot yes yeah definitely um i think harley is going to try to intentionally shift the setting of this dream and I think she's going to try her best to bend it so that they are back in the bar that we had the Bacchanal in <laughs> um, but it is completely empty like you, like it would be before it opens and she's I think she's mostly successful but there are still there are like tree you know like when video games glitch and like suddenly there's a tree in the middle of your wall and yes. it's kind of just like breaking yeah. through that's oh, happening I love with that. the forest so the forest is still kind of encroaching on this space but it is a space um with walls and chairs and tables um but it's just the two of them in it and i think harley shifts to be a to be a person yeah, I was going to say, I think Reuben, when the space changes, sort of loses their grasp on their wolf form, and suddenly mm-hmm. they're just, like, a person, just, like, mm-hmm. sitting on the ground, knees folded against their chest, kind of just sitting there. Okay. Does anyone else want to add anything? Well, I wanted to say there is someone here with us. They do not speak, but their presence is impossible to ignore. Who is it? 
because I think like a bar is a good place for somebody else to be there like mm-hmm. like you both just like sit there for a while and then you realize there's somebody like at the bar or behind the bar I think it's whoever had the gun yeah and I think that hmm um I again I think it's someone who is like they're they're dressed as if they are from hundreds of years ago um but still very clearly someone who specifically like hunts werewolves like Mm. this is a relic of the past but still clearly this is their job um and i don't think we can see their face i think they have like some kind of like wide brimmed hat on and they're sitting at the bar like facing like up towards the bar um and their face is entirely in shadow from just sort of the lighting of the room and the and the hat and we cannot see anything except like their back yeah definitely and, and i don't just think they move scoots away yeah just I like think they're like turns. unnaturally still as well yeah ruben still like turns so that they they're not looking mm-hmm. at at them also to hide yeah. their own face yeah i think harley like crouches in front of Ruben and just like just says just tell me what you did or I can't help you I (sighs) Ruben doesn't know how to say it in a way that makes them look good even though like they really weren't doing anything that was going to harm anyone else like this wasn't going to Mm. Um, so they just, like, turn their leg out, because I think they're wearing shorts in the dream. Mm -hmm. Werewolves run hot, you know, they're not gonna wear sleep Mm -hmm. pants. And so Harley can (laughs) see the silver, and it's just, Uh like, I'm not gonna describe it, but it's moving. (laughs) We'll just leave it there. I get you. It's not great. I imagine it looks, it looks like, I imagine it looks like Quicksilver is what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I think Harley reaches out and touches it, and then something shifts. Um, Does anyone have a shift that happens when that, when she touches the silver? Either that, or that's when the person moves. It's one of the two. I just like that, like, she fucking touches it. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what? (laughs) I never said she was, like, super smart. <laughs> God. Um, okay. Also, it's a dream. Yeah. Also, it's a dream. In, dream. in dreams, you touch all sorts of things you shouldn't. <laughs> That's the episode title, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, what's what's what shift happens? I would say one, but I feel like I've said a bunch. No, go for it. Um... I was going to say, um, uh, a weapon manifests itself in your hand. What is it? Um, it is, okay, remind me how everyone felt about, like, we said just, like, no graphic descriptions of, like, bodily harm, right? Correct. We can be abstract about it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is, (laughs) it's, like... It's just a real big knife, y'all. Um, <laughs> and I think it's clear what the dream wants us to do, which is to uh. cut it out of you. Uh. <laughs> I, I think I think that may be seen. Okay, yeah. yeah. And I think, like, I think what happens, too, is, like, obvi- like yeah, we call scene there, but, like, when you wake up, the silver has changed in some way, and I'm curious as to how you think it might have changed. Yeah, me too. Um... <laughs> um... Oh, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. This is going to be great. Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be great. Oh, God. I wake, uh. and um, there's this, like, there's this, I, I'm 
sort of amending one of these ending the reverie things because it says it says here mm -hmm. i wake feeling pain from an old injury long healed and it's like i wake feeling pain from an injury that isn't there and when i look mm -hmm. when when i look down at my leg the the silver's no longer in because it was sort of embedded in reuben's mm -hmm. calf and it's no longer embedded in their calf but it's in completely encompassing it <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh fun. But it's not—it's not, it's not oh. in the flesh anymore. It's just around. Okay. It. They just have a silver leg now. Are Maybe. you saying that like the entire leg is made of silver now, or it's um, like a coating? I gotta think about that, but I don't think they can tell right now. Okay. Do they like? Do they like try to like? cut themselves and see if like it still acts like skin oh i think they do <laughs> <laughs> and is it <laughs> we said no graphic depictions of bodily harm right oh my god yeah we just need I mean, a yes or no that i think yes yeah. or no it behaves like skin okay I hate the way that you said that. <laughs> okay, so you got silver blood now is what I'm hearing. I got silver flesh, man. Yeah, okay. Yep. Silver flesh okay. and I'm bleeding mercury. It's great. All right, let's uh let's call the scene there. Yeah, um, great. Perfect. It is Vesper's turn. All right. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so I really want to play prayer. <laughs> We're just going for it right now, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm so into this. I'm open for... I have a couple of ideas of how this could go, like... Because this could just be Vesper talking to any of the other characters. Uh, but it could also be, like, Vesper, like... I don't know, like, trying to attempt magic or some shit. Ooh, oh, God. God. Uh, I really I mean, you like... You can, but should you? Okay. Hmm? I gotta say, I really like Vesper attempting to do magic, and then someone walks in. On That's them attempting good. to do magic. On him attempting to mm -hmm. do magic. What do you mean? Like, like, would that person still be the? Would be that? That be the person at the end of the prayer or no? Like, that on the would other be the person the at the end of the prayer. I'd say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, I. Or or I the person know. at the end of the prayer is the magic. <laughs> Fucking anthropomorphize this shit. Let's do it. Yeah. I mean, I just said, like, would my praying have like. Oh, yeah, I guess, like... Summoned them? I just don't... Like, summoned them? I don't understand what the, what that means. Well, I'm just, like... Like, I'm thinking about, like, if you, like, offer... Like, like, if you're, like, trying to use magic, and then you, like, offer the magic something of you, and then the magic decides to accept that and let you wield it or reject it, and then something else happens? Okay. Does that so, make yeah. sense? So, so yeah. it doesn't so have not, to be so, a person. Yeah. Mm. My other idea was that, like, this could be, like, because I don't think Ve Vesper hasn't met Sol, right? I don't think so, no. No. My, mm, I realize that this is between, like, the two, like, quote unquote, mortal heroes, but, like, um, no, I think I like the idea of, like, Vesper trying to do magic. Um, yeah, I think that's the more interesting option. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we can still, like, have, like, someone, like, walks in. Yeah. And is like, what the fuck, dude? I mean, that's gotta be either, like... I mean, that's... It could be, be anyone, It could really. be anyone, really. I it mean, could no, be anyone. Not Sol, because, like... Yeah. Otherwise, how the fuck did Sol get into Vesper's house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, that is where it is. Um, all right. <sighs> so... Who wants to play the magic, or do just just everybody want to? Or how about you do four calls, and then we each do one response? Okay. Hmm. All right. So I think Vesper has set up like a very like cliche looking like pentagram. Oh um, no! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Baby. He looked it up online, and he followed the diagram really exactly. Oh, that's sweetheart. And he's lit some candles. Some mood lighting. Yeah, some mood lighting. Uh, and I'm going to say, all right. Um, I'm thinking of how to phrase this. Um, 
I need you to grant me some kind of power to help the supernatural beings. Will you grant it to me? Um, so just basically you're asking, like, I need, like, some kind of special power magic to... Yeah. Okay. That's what he wants. He might, uh-huh. That might not be what he gets. Yeah. Um, there's a gust of wind and the chalk pentagram on the ground, like, blows away. It's gone. Oof. That's not good. Um. And some of the candles are extinguished, but not all of them. Okay. Um, and it looks like... It's hard to tell whether it's, like, a pattern or not, but, like, certain candles were left burning and certain mm. ones were blown out. Mm. I think Vesper picks up the chalk um, and just writes, like, hello between the two, like, the two candles that were left. <laughs> He's just gonna Ouija board this thing, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, my, oh my, God. my God. So I think it's, oh like, no. I say hello, will you answer me? <laughs> um, oh. I will respond to this one. Um, I'm gonna say, you feel as if you are being watched. Oh, it's funny because I was going to make that exact response. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Glad Good. we're all on the same page. You yep. caught something's attention. Okay. Um, I think Vesper just says, um, holy shit. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Wait, in response to that, this is a joke, but in response to that, my statue appears to be shedding tears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm um, kidding. I'm do you kidding. have a statue? Mm. <laughs> All right, we'll pick a good response then. Uh, I, he doesn't just say, holy shit, like, that's not my, my like, call. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's why my I was call. joking. Holy shit, okay. will you prevent me? <laughs> <laughs> um... He just goes like, "Holy shit! Uh, what are you?" And then, like after the after a second, it's like, "Oh shit!" And then writes it out in chalk. Um, and then uh, th- that's basically like, "I need you to, or like, I want you to tell me what you are. Will you bestow it upon me?" Um, I have a response to this. Um, <laughs> you feel a hand. On the back of your neck. Ooh. Just Ooh, spooky. Grip tight. Not like the, it's the back of the neck, so not choking, but definitely. So not really grip. threatening? It's hard to tell whether or not it's threatening or not, but it's definitely deliberate. And it stays. You also nice. can't tell okay. if it's human. <laughs> All right, cool. Um,. <laughs> All right, for the last one, I think it's going to be very much like the first one. Like, I need you to... No, I'm going to say, I think Vesper says, um, can you give me power? And then the actual, like, call I'm doing is, I touch the hand touching my neck. Will you stop me? Oh, man. Oh, my I God. Could be, I, how cliche should I be? Extremely. Yes. Extremely. Extremely. Okay. Okay. So, um, you touch the the hand on your neck. Well, you try to, and, you know, there's not, quote-unquote, really a hand there, mm-hmm. but there is the smell of brimstone on the air. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yep, I figured. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. You dumbass. And I think we'll figure out whether or not Vesper actually has some sort of power. Well, you have to do a final offering. Oh, well. I do. Right, 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 right. Oh my god. Which might decide. Okay. Mm. Fuck. Okay. Mm. These are all very good is the thing. <laughs> hmm. I'm between I offer you a piece of myself and I offer you my body. <laughs> <laughs> of course I, you are. I figured. I knew it. Mm, I think I'm, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I have to say I offer you my body to do with as you will. Yes. Yep. Yep. Jesus uh-huh. Yes. Yep. Good. Great and good. Um Oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> um I have I have an idea for uh what happens if if mm. no one minds if I go for Please. it. Please go for it. Please go do. for it. Go for it. Please um, go for it. Um give me just like one second. I just want to double check something really oh, quick. No. 
<laughs> um, okay. Oh, Wait. <laughs> hey, God. You sure did that, huh? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> for, for the listeners at home, for the listeners at home, <sighs> Alex typed in the chat, I can't believe I reverse engineered Tom Collins the warlock. Because listen, alright. To be clear, may or may not be all capital loosely... letters. Loosely based. <laughs> we can't. We can't violate McElroy copyrights. Don't um, say those words. Don't say those Griffin words. Griffin McElroy, we do this out of love. <laughs> if you're listening, do we're we? doing this out of love. Okay. If you're listening, so. do you want to be a guest on our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Okay. 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 Also, when is Trough coming back? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I just wanted to double check lines really quickly. Um, mm. Oh, good. Wait, Steamy hold on a second. situations. Actually. <laughs> no, that's a fail. Actually, hold on a second. Dora, what did you say happened to the hand? Um, I said that that um, the hand isn't quote unquote really there, like, like Vesper's hand passed through it, but okay. there was the smell of brimstone. Okay, great. But they but he can still feel it yes he can still feel it on his neck mm -hmm. great so here's what happens is oh, no. you you make you make the final offering and the hand slides around from the back of your neck mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the front of your throat mm-hmm oh boy holds there and I was... okay. not not okay. cutting off airflow to be clear it's not choking you. It's just holding there. You are truly mm. scared and horny. It's fine. <laughs> God. And you feel... You feel a sharp pain in the back of your neck that's just mm. very quick. Very quick. And then you feel... It's a little cliche to be like, you feel like you can fly, but I feel like that's the way Vesper would describe it. Huh. Is that, like, is that an incorrect assumption to be like, Vesper would d describe it as feeling like he could fly? Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like that feeling of, like, I can do anything right now. Great. <laughs> and then, and then the hand is gone. And the presence is gone. And the chalk, the, the gust of wind comes back and the chalk blows away. And, um, Vesper might be a warlock now. <laughs> yeah, well, it's fine. Well, to be fair, to be fair, this was a very play to find out what happens moment. Yep, I yep. it's great. I did not plan this, that was but really I'm, I'm actually thrilled, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Because Despite I think copyright. on some level, like, Vesper's, like, still a human. Mm hmm He's just, like, maybe sold sold his body to to something. Who knows? Who knows? Mm-hmm. Cool. It was only a matter of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it. <sighs> yep. Okay. okay. It's, uh, it's... Soul's turn. Oh shit! We um, lost the plot again, y'all. <laughs> no, it's and fine. We I'm did gonna, it. We did it. I'm gonna pick it back up. I'm gonna pick We're it back fine. up. Yeah, but this yeah. is horny, horny with a vague veneer of plot. It's fine. It's great. Also, I don't know what the what anything that's going on. So, horny with a side of plot. Um, shoot. So, I kind of want to do a pursuit, but it would be with an NPC. Is that mm. legal? <laughs> You've yeah, been doing no, that really for the do. last two games. Like, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I want to do a pursuit chasing down one of the the foreign hunters. The hunters? Yeah. Can, hey, hey, yeah. can this be a team effort? Hell yes. Cool. Oh, -ho. hell yes. Oh I'm just God. saying. I'll play, the, I'll play the foreign hunter if y'all want me to. Cool. Yes, please. So you're the pursued. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So yeah. So I guess with we can just sort of freeform it on these rules if there are two pursuers. But yes. So the pursued conducts the game. Mm -hmm. Fun. 
Do you want to tell us a little bit about this person? Yes. Uh, this person is a young woman whose parents were both murdered by vampires. <laughs> you know, as usual. <laughs> as usual. Vampire it's not Batman. Batman. Shut up. It's Batwoman. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, it's basically Batman. Well, there's lots of orphans. <laughs> there's many orphans. Her parents were murdered by vampires, and so she swore revenge, and then she met some other people who believed vampires exist and also wanted to kill them. Mm -hmm. And so now, so she joined up with them, and she's fucking, she just fucking hates all supernatural beings. She's fucking she's, pissed. She's fucking pissed. Cool. And so I guess I get to start, because I'm the pursued. Do you want to name a destination? Um, the destination is the fuck away. Okay. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> away from y'all. Okay. I run along a high steep ledge. To keep up, you'll need to keep your balance. Throw. On heads, you stumble or hesitate, and I pull ahead, gaining one point. So basically, I jump up, sort of parkour my way to the top of, a, you know, kind of dangerous ledge. What mm -hmm. do you do? Do we want to each throw? Yeah, you should each Oh, yeah, throw. we can each. Oh, that's a good move. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Are we rolling in the dice stuff? To, okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, Tails, yes. And I got heads. So I think what that means is that, like. Um, you fall behind. <laughs> or, like, I stay on the ground, um, and, uh, like, yeah. there are more obstacles on the ground, um, but we're, like,. You know, doing the thing where like we split up till later. Join back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep a track of my points mm -hmm. with a little slash mark. Cool. So I'm at an advantage here, I would say, because I'm mm -hmm. trying to get points for myself, and the two of you are trying to. Yeah. So if I get catch me. if I get tails, does that mean I get a point? I think so. Yeah. No. No. No? No. Um, just the, um, so on trials, just the pursued has an opportunity to gain points. And then on concessions, the pursuer has okay. um, an opportunity to gain points. Okay, so you okay, have one wait. point on one point on Harley and no points on Soul. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm just going to, can I just keep track of my points as just like one? Like, yeah, I points? like, I think we can just keep it simple and like, you know between the two of us yeah. yeah okay um i attempt to hide to throw off your scent to throw you off the scent throw on heads you notice immediately and lose no ground gaining two points well okay you both fail we both no, failed we, oh we both failed cool that was a fail so on nothing wait oh, was okay, it because yeah, yeah. yeah was it it's on heads you succeed so you both fail oh, okay yeah yeah on heads um, you notice immediately and lose no ground, gaining two points. So nobody gets any points there. I am going to say, I do not know this ground well at all and hesitate at every turn. Throw. Mm. On heads, you do know this ground and keep pace with me easily, gaining two points. Okay. Okay, yeah. I got heads. Uh, nice. So I think this is a matter of, like, yeah. we were... You got tails. Like, I imagine this is, like, this has been, like, kind of a rooftop chase with, like, yeah. Harley sticking to the streets. Um, and now this this hunter, like, she was forced, like, the roofs ended or whatever. And she was yeah, forced she back onto down. the streets. Um, and, like, Harley knows the streets real well. Um, so is gaining on her. So I had four trials and concessions. So that's been three so far. Mm-hmm. Here's the last one. Um, I'm going to change this one up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I plunge through the city, weaving between buildings. To keep up, you'll have to dodge the fucking garbage in the alleyways. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Throw. Sounds On good. heads, you must slow down to, the, to avoid the garbage, and I gain a point. <laughs> On heads, we fail? Was that it? I yeah. Think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, soul succeeded. I got another point. But Harley failed. Yeah. Cool. So Okay. I have a total of two points and so do you, and that's four. Cool. Um so if the pursuer has an equal number of points, 
then you have to select one of these and to the pursuit. Cool. Um, equal number or more. Okay. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm completely lost and have nowhere to go. Mm. This is probably like one of those fucking comic book moments where like you slide into an alley and there's one and of us dead behind end. you. It's a dead end. And then like, or like you think you're going to be able to get out the other side of the alley and then like soul just like drops down. Steps and so there's like oh, one on fuck. either end of the alley. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to say that, that this, this, this hunter like pulls out a knife and goes, don't get any closer. Um, <laughs> She's like a little freaked out. <laughs> I mean, that seems like it ought to be single combat, except it's double combat. She's, and... she's like not like actually gonna fight you. She's uh, just like I think like afraid. we can we can have like a short conversation post this yeah. and then end the scene. Yeah, uh, pretty much. Well, if you hadn't uh, done something wrong, we wouldn't be in this situation. So maybe it's in your best interest that you put that knife down and start talking. I think that's a good place to end the scene. Yeah. No, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. This girl is afraid, but at least you're human, right? I yes. I don't remember what I went. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, at least you're human, and she can, like, kind of tell that. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Saul's definitely more out of breath than uh, than Harley <laughs> would be at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to say also that this like hunter is kind of like young and a little femme. Like she's she's not like like roughed up butch lady. She's like you know yeah. she's got her hair in a ponytail. She's like wearing a skirt yeah. and is like mm -hmm. probably doesn't look like your typical idea of a hunter. Mm -hmm. But she also has a big knife. Cool. <laughs> she's also scared and horny. She's and good. She's, I don't. I would not say she's not horny. I think she's just actually scared. <laughs> well, I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> yep her parents are dead and she wants revenge I probably should come up with a name for this NPC but mm -hmm. as of yet she does not have one cool okay so then we have it's Garion's turn and that means we've reached like the end of the second like go through of turns mm -hmm. and we should probably start working to a resolution in the next like half hour yeah yeah, yeah. definitely well, we have we have this this person now. That's good. Yes, we do. Um, and somebody else can come up with the uh, ideas that you learned from her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I came up with the first one, and I'm done with coming up with world building. No, you're yeah. you're good. You're good. You've done a lot. Mm -hmm. It is your scene, though. It is my scene. Mm -hmm. It means I have to figure out what kind of game I want to play. Mm -hmm. um, does maybe somebody want to... Hmm, actually, I probably shouldn't do another conversation or another uh, Ambrosia because we've done a couple of those already. Um, <laughs> I, I was like, ugh, a tryst. No. <laughs> I mean... I mean, the I thing do... about trysts is that, like, they don't have to be, like, sexual horny. in nature. Yeah. They don't have they to can, be it's, horny. Like, it's a good... Re, like it's a good game if you just want to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. I might. Yeah. I kind of just want to have a conversation with. Um, fucking, I can't remember anybody's characters' names because I suck. Mm. Uh, with Han's character. Oh, with Harley. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some asshole friends in here. Nice. Go right. Ahead. I forgot yeah. that we decided that they're asshole friends. Yes. Yeah, they're asshole friends. Good. Thanks for reminding me of that bit of lore. <laughs> it's the lore. lore. The lore buried deep in the DMs. Yep. Um, so I would. I want to say let's do a let's do a tryst. Fun. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so Garion is just like for fuck's sake. I don't want to prepare this form. I want to just look at it. I sorry. I hit a button by mistake. Um, let's just have. Um, okay. So set up. Decide where you are and how you came to be involved in this together. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say that. Garion is working on something. He is wearing a shitty shirt that just says Team Edward on it. Oh, um, God. It's good. oh my God. God. It was a gift from somebody else, and it's a bad t shirt that is like really deteriorated at this point. He clearly wears it to sleep it during the day. Uh, yeah. All he's right. Cute. I love him. He sucks. No, I love him yeah, so he's much. Um, so he's wearing a shitty t shirt that says Team Edward on it. Mm -hmm. um, 
and he's just like working on some like suit. It's okay. like clearly very fancy, mm-hmm. and he's clearly stayed up a couple of nights in a row working on it. Okay. Or sorry, a couple of days in a row working mm-hmm. on it. A fancy boy suit. I love it. Um, he's making a fancy boy suit, and he's wearing a Twilight t-shirt. Cool. Yeah, and I think like Harley just like, are they the kind of asshole friends where she can just like walk in? Yeah. Okay, cool. I sure. think she just walks in and like <laughs> does like the asshole move where you like lean against the door frame. Um and just says like, you know, if you had told me about the dress code, I would have worn I would have worn mine, my T-shirt. <laughs> God, sort of like he like freezes up and whirls around, and he's like, "Oh, great, it's you." Um, <laughs> he just sort of looks down, and he's like, "I'm going to be entirely honest. First of all, this was a gift. Fuck you. Second of all, I completely forgot I was wearing this." <laughs> Listen, it's fine. We all have our vices. <laughs> I don't even like this stuff, I swear. Um, okay. So, um, I think, like, Harley, like, steps into the room proper um, and just says, like, listen, we, Sol and I managed to catch someone. Oh? Um, we should decide yeah. now what she knew. <laughs> I think. Because, Yeah. I think that she knew that a couple of in town, you know, youngsters were the ones who brought in the vampire. Okay. Um, so that does kind of track with what Saul was suspecting, but I don't know what they what they did with the vampire. Somebody else should come up with that, but it right. is at I'm least Right. I'm also I think what it is is that like this is like they took um a vampire who is like very important to one of like the coven leaders to try and like um like lure them out basically like this is their genius plan which is why they haven't like killed this they didn't just like kill this person but that's all that like this this monster hunter girl didn't know like the identity of the hostage or the identity of the person they're trying to lure out into the open useful you know um i don't like i imagine there aren't that many like coven leader important vampires out there so like it does narrow it down yeah so it's somebody's young lover probably Mm -hmm. yeah um but like we know who's missing probably yeah they don't they don't have a name yet so we just have to figure out who's uh well, Jade said that Kari could be the vampire that was missing if we wanted. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. We well, can't do that. Max? We can't do that to Kari. You know, Kari. I thought we Max. cannot do that to Kari. Kari is not a vampire. Okay, yeah, so. I was going right. Kari could be, like, the older oh, vampire. Oh, that's right, because Kari Kari's would be a werewolf. Kari's a, that's right. But Kari's always a were coyote, please. Yeah, please. No, you're, you're right, you're Kari. right. That's right, it was Max, wasn't it? Um... Yeah. Uh, or it could just be an NPC. Like, we don't have to make it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We don't even um, know the character. Right. Yeah. But yeah, so I guess back back to the scene at hand. Um, yeah, so... I think, I think we're closing in on this, but we could really use, you know, your help and your connections... Cause so what you want me to go around asking every well, every coven leader if they've lost their young lover? I'm just or... saying that they're gonna take to those questions coming from you much better than they're gonna take to those questions coming from me or Soul. You know what? That's that makes that does make a lot of sense. I know it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Gary and kind of rubs at his eyes. And he's like, I haven't slept in days. Uh, so why, I, why, why haven't you slept? Is it this? Is it this fucking he, he suit? He like gestures to the suit that he's making. He's like, I've got a deadline. I can't, I can't. You've made a billion minutes. suits. What, what's so difficult about this suit? That's not difficult about it. It just takes a while. Okay. There's no difficulty here. It just, what? it's just a long and arduous process. You have to get it right. I will never There's a lot of hand this. stitching involved. I have to stitch all this stuff by hand. It takes How much a while. stitching? Could they, they invented machines for a reason. I don't get you. <laughs> it's not as good if you, unless you do it by hand. 
Okay. Gary's not that much of a purist. He will he will use a machine to stitch a lot of things. It's like one of those old like foot pedal yeah. Victorian machines that you like actually have to drive with your foot. Right. And I will like I will say right now that like Harley has on like a fucking like tank top that probably used to be white but is now like super stained and Ugh. has like three or four different holes in it. Oh um, god. <laughs> like <laughs> Some, someday they're going to let Gary and make them an outfit, and it's going to look fucking amazing. Yeah, but today is not that day. Today is not You're going to have to get them real drunk for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think, like, she just, like, probably just, like, collapses on, like, whatever, like, couch he has <laughs> in the corner of this sewing studio, question mark, and just... Yeah, it's the back room of the, of the tailor shop, mm-hmm. so it's... Yeah. You know, a table, a couch, and Mm -hmm. just, like, walls of material hung up. It's Um, very cozy. Yeah. Just, like, collapses on that couch. Um, And he, like, walks over with, like, a broom and, like, hits them with it. Like, get your shoes off of my couch, (laughs) you fucking miscreant. (laughs) That's adorable. Um, I, yeah. God, um, this is a tryst, huh? I'm trying to think if we should use any of the rules involved. Um, <laughs> I mean, I hit you with my fucking with my fucking broom. May I? Um, I don't think I have a choice in the matter, huh? You may, but only for a moment, and then I depart. Right? Yeah. No, you may, and let's draw a curtain upon what follows. <laughs> Honestly, I, I do think that scene, like, yeah. I don't think that, like, there's anything yeah. else that we need to talk about right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Cool. That's good. I appreciate um, that. <laughs> yeah. So, that brings it back to my turn, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to, like, start, like, moving towards wrapping this up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I definitely. I think, uh, I'm trying to think of a game that would get us to the rescue or let us i think it would be odyssey Mm -hmm. yeah um i agree but i think but i i'm wondering if there are more if it's just more than just me on this odyssey um i think i mean yeah soul would definitely be there right right i feel like if it's during the day gary and definitely wouldn't (laughs) right yeah i don't i mean i don't think they're gonna like try and infiltrate this like monster hunter camp just in broad daylight that doesn't seem like a great move. Can Vesper yeah. come? Yeah. Can Vesper come? Um, Please let Vesper go. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like, I uh, wish we had had, well, okay. So we could also like have a quick scene where. Please somebody discover that Vesper is no home. Yeah. yeah. No, that's one thing. I feel like that needs to happen before we like go on this odyssey. And like really, yeah. if we're all mm-hmm. going on this odyssey, anyone can make it their turn. I don't know if Ruben's gonna go on this Odyssey, but mm-hmm. I don't yeah. know if they are. Uh, I don't know if Garyan's gonna go. I don't know if Garyan's gonna go either, because I feel like Garyan like is a vampire, but is not super emotionally involved here. Yeah, that's true, and also doesn't seem like really a combat build, you know. Oh no! Oh no! He is not a combat build. Okay. Hey, may um, I make a suggestion that yeah. we go through this round of turns, and then the last turn is just the Odyssey to get the person yeah. back. I, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Or we could make that the like the oh yeah no that that works that works. I mean then, the other like, the other thing have... here is that I don't know exactly what to do for my turn. Mm, yeah, at this and I don't point, really either. We could always just do like... this scene and then do the Odyssey scene. Like yeah yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. mind like sort of now that we know where this is going. I don't mind fudging the turn order. Yeah 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 me neither and especially also, since. Like, I was going to say, let's skip me anyway. Okay. I just want to use Soul's like... turn for a tryst. That's all. You know yes. what? Yeah, you I can support do that this. right after this. I support so you. Why don't... <laughs> we're, we're fudging the turn order. It'll be Vesper. Somebody discovers Vesper. Vesper's bullshit. Uh-huh. Do that tryst, and then we'll do the Odyssey. Sounds good. Great. Perfect. Yeah, sure. Because I don't um... want to just like bog everything down with like some dumb filler scene, you know? No, that's true. Yeah. Do you want to be the one who discovers Vesper's like weird magic though? Because I think that could be interesting. That could be hilarious, is what it could be. It's gotta, I gotta be Ruben or Harley. It. 
Right. I think, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like I've been in a lot of scenes. Yeah. Um, so I would yeah, love for it to be it. Ruben. Um, also Ruben. because, like, you know, then I'm sure, like, Ruben would, like, go tell the rest of them that, mm-hmm. like, this asshole has. <laughs> yeah, like, Ruben immediately calls gonna... Harley, like, what the fuck? <laughs> right. Okay, cool. So Does let's Ruben do show up at Garion's st- shop and be like, hey, what the fuck? Uh-huh. Extreme gossip mode. Yeah, I, if, I mean, if nobody was, like, if we weren't going to do the scene, like, Vesper is definitely going to burst into a scene like yeah, this, I but this, I think this is good cool. as well. So what is this? Is this a tryst? I think, I mean... Is this a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to say it's a tryst, but I want to say it's after a tryst. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I wanna my say, God. I want to say that's <laughs> the framework, but yeah. it's after... A tryst after a tryst. They're just yep. lying in bed together. Oh, my yep. God. And oh Ruben, motherfucker. And Ruben's just like, because do you think that uh, Vesper would have like accidentally let some magic go? <laughs> oh During just like all of our fan Durin? fictions. Yes. <laughs> yes, we have light, to go with that light, now. Oh, I think on. some uh, some drapes on fire. Or Vesper like, <laughs> I don't know about setting drapes on fire, but maybe Vesper like accidentally managed to like. I can't believe it. Okay. Accidentally managed to, like, break out of, like, something holding him. (laughs) (laughs) That works. Just, like, some very (laughs) obvious display of magic so that Ruben can be like, so, that happened. I feel like whatever it was, it was accompanied by sparkles. Yes. Obviously. (laughs) Oh, my God. I love me some good fireworks in a literal Mm -hmm. way. Oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> literally oh no hold on a second that's the next thing that they say <laughs> so i hate this that happened that was hot uh, but what the fuck i uh well i list all right i might have done something something well how i mean so, there's, like, magic and stuff, and I'm sure you know that, because you're, like, a werewolf. Reuben just points to the silver leg. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> okay, well, if I tell you about this, then you have to tell me about that. Uh, I'm, well, I'll give you the abbreviated version, because it's a little bit... I don't remember. Anyway, keep going. If Vesper, like, it gives him a look like, okay. But then it just says, well, I may or may not have made a deal with something or someone for power. Some kind of invisible presence came to me. But that's normal, right? Like, in your world, that's normal. Um... I wouldn't use those words exactly. Um, actually, I wouldn't use the word normal at all. Oh, is it, is it like offensive or? No. (laughs) I've, okay. Now, keep in mind that I'm very young for, quote, my kind, end quote. But I've never heard of anyone being able to do that at all. (laughs) <laughs> oh. Um, I tangle our fingers together, may I? You may. Uh, well, all right. Then I guess it's something new? It's a little bit scary, but I... What matters is I, I wanted power because I'm just a human and I can't, I can't do anything to help anyone, so... Now I have power, so... It's good, right? Uh, well... Mm, once you figure out how to use it, yeah, I guess. Um, there's definitely something in me. Uh, that's a, that sounds terrible. Yeah, it it's does. A person or a presence or something like I don't think that this power comes from from me. Probably not. I kiss your knuckles. May I? <laughs> you may. Well, now you have to tell me about your leg. Um, Is that where we end the scene? Just not to, like, 
Well, I want to know about that. I want to hear. I just mean like as a as like a podcast. We already like. Well, I guess we. I guess yeah. No, like don't like. I'm not. If you want to do the rest of the scene, go for I it. I just want to. Well, basically, all I want to know is whether or not like. You know, they tell the whole truth or they lie about it. I mean, Ruben really doesn't, on some level, remember exactly what happened, but they go, you know, there was a dream, there was some guy with a gun, Harley was there, it was the normal bullshit, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so I, I think my, my shit sounds more normal than that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I He's think like we end playful. the scene with Ruben just kind of looking at Vesper like, what the fuck? Oh, uh... And then closing, um, mm, no, never mind. I don't think so. Actually, okay. no, I think, I think they do. I think, uh, closing, closing exchange, and I know that I already did one, but I kiss you, may I? You may. Aw. 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 Cool. <laughs> We're all just like, aw. Yeah. Ruben's like, yeah. Ruben's like, don't, don't you tell me that you sound more normal than what happened to me, so I'll just make out with you instead. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's also the type of problem solving that Vess loves to do. Wow. So, it's, it's great. Alright, is it Odyssey time? Were we gonna do the other Tristan? Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, so, so, Ruben then, like, fucking... Ruben also, just to be clear, does immediately go to Harley, like, what the fuck? And the thing that they, they're like is like, and and then he said that what happened to him was more normal than what we did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my okay. goodness. Oh my God, Incredible. This is beautiful. All right. So what's this other tryst? I think this is... Um... Saul coming to Harley before the Odyssey is about mm-hmm. to happen and it's just like are you are you up for this? Do you I mean, do I have much of a choice? I mean Of course I'm up for it. It's just uh I don't know. I'm not the kind of person who gets jitters. I just uh nervous energy, I guess. <laughs> you telling me you're scared, Hawk? Usually I only have to watch for my own hide. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Listen, I, I know you can take care of yourself, but... Alright. I, it's stupid. And no, come on. Hang on, I want to do a thing, but <laughs> I scrolled away. <laughs> oh no! I thought this was just a dramatic pause. I mean... <laughs> In the in in the podcast version, it'll be a dramatic pause. But yeah, <laughs> I touch your shoulder. May I? You may. Listen, I. I know you can take care of yourself. I just want to make sure that you get home alive. It'd be a and shame two if. Of us. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a shame if anything happened. I kiss you. May I? You absolutely may, but there's just like that moment of of wide-eyed shock for Aww. a moment before before she like gets into it. Mm-hmm. I love them. Nice. I love them. God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Yeah, and uh, I tangle our fingers together. May I? Um, you may. And I think, I think Harley pulls back and is just like, hey, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be fine, but I don't see any reason. No, uh -uh. I don't see any reason not to enjoy the time that we've got before we gotta get going. Oh, okay. If that was where the sentence was going, then I'm all on board. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be the end of it, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's so oh. fucking sweet. <laughs> yes. Let these buff girls kiss. Yes. I'm, I'm so, proud so of these buff happy. Girls for kissing. I'm so happy. <laughs> I ship them so much. God. All right. So, Odyssey time. Yeah. Odyssey yeah. time. I mean, I'm not here, but, like, I appreciate that you guys are going on an Odyssey now. <laughs> right, so is it just 
it's just Soul Harley and Vespers here. Mm-hmm. Vespers here. <laughs> Vespers you know, doing a good it's job. Sex, it's what sex is like. You know, you go on an odyssey. <laughs> Vespers there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Uh, okay. Um, so this isn't really anyone's particular turn. Mm. So how do we want to mm. do this? Do we want to, like, each of us gets, like, two challenges and, like, whoever's turn it isn't gets to set the challenge? Or, like, do Sam and Kales want to set all the challenges? I, I think, think we get to set all the challenges. Yeah, that yeah. would make yeah. sense. We could yeah. still each get two, right? Yeah, I think or... it would make sense if we each get, like, two of them. Okay. Um, yeah. Just so, like, there's the possibility of... So Sam and Kales alternate yeah. one each? Yeah. Yeah. Because two yeah. each then, like, also, um, you know, it, then it's not like we mm-hmm. have one challenge and if you fail it, you fail the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, we get um, to alternate. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Challenges. Uh, there are three black crows in the sky. Mm. A terrible omen of death and destruction. Throw. If heads, you rely on your courage and resolve to carry on as normal. If tails, the omen distracts you and frightens you, causing you to move much slower. I think maybe like we should figure out who would be most affected by that. Yeah, does If that makes sense, or do we just want to go in turn order? Uh... Which one was this? The omen one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know that Vesper cares about omens. Yeah, I don't know that Harley would nec- or Saul would necessarily care okay. about omens either. No, that's so I fair. Think... <laughs> okay. No, I think that uh, that makes sense. I think, like, mm-hmm. um, the supernatural creature here would also be the most, like, superstitious. <laughs> yeah, um, supernatural so can... and yeah. superstitious. Yeah, supernatural and superstitious. Um, so I will roll 1d2, and I got tails. What does that mean? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. The omen distracts and frightens me, causing me to move much slower. Um, and I think what that means is that, like, Harley is very insistent on, like, taking a more circuitous route to where they're going. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. and, like, yeah, it's just, like, very, very insistent on, like you know, choosing a different path. Because it was probably, like, three black crows in the sky. They were probably, like, perched on, like, a singular, um, like, power line. And it's like, oh, gotta take a different street now. Yeah. This this street is cursed. (laughs) Mood. God. I know this because I'm made of magic. (laughs) Okay. It's fine. Okay, I have one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have one for Vesper. Okay. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of amend this a little bit, but I'm gonna read it as is. Um, a god sends a terrible temptation mm-hmm. to you. A warm bed, a beautiful lover, a good meal, a beloved friend. Throw. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I do think that there is a sort of, like, the, the, your, whatever magic is in My you patron. now starts... Yeah, yeah, your patron, whoever your patron is, who we have no idea who your patron is, starts pulling <laughs> mm-hmm. you. That's always starts good. pulling you in a di- in the direction uh, away from uh, away from your goal. I think specifically towards something. Okay. One. Okay. Woo. Yeah. Um, um, if heads, you see it, the mirage for what it is and resist its thrall. I think. I think it probably. I don't think it wants me to like betray everybody or anything but i think it wants me to like turn around and go back home yeah Um, which is possibly like you know doesn't want me interfering with this or it's like this is above your pay grade and it's not clear which (laughs) is true yeah yeah um but vesper like realizes like vesper realizes this like tugging in his chest is not like his own thoughts and it's just like uh fuck that (laughs) <laughs> uh, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> it's like it's like the uh, like you know how you're supposed to treat intrusive thoughts. Mm. <laughs> yep. Like that's cool, Greg, but <laughs> no, that's that's not no. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, your sworn enemies are blocking the road up ahead. 
throw. Boy. If heads, you can sneak past them and continue on your way. If tails, they catch you and detain you for hours or days before you can escape. I feel like this has to be Saul, right? Yeah. Yeah. This seems like Saul's. Yeah, yeah, this is like probably Saul gets jumped. Oof, oh, oh no. shit. Oh, fucking okay. Yeah. All right, so y'all <laughs> get captured. Or maybe Saul does. Just Saul does. Oh, yeah. Saul no. yeah. gets caught by and now Saul is I guess in there with the with the vampire. Oh my god, now it's a mission we have to rescue Saul now too. Oh no. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, my god. Well, this this also means Saul can try to fight fight her way out. But this yeah. just got personal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fuck. This just got more personal. <laughs> this just got slightly more personal. Right. Oh, I then I do have an idea for what, what Harley's next challenge is. Um, oh, okay. Sure. No, just... no, it's it's I'm still I'm not making one up because I have no brains. Um a horrible storm sweeps over the land, destroying the path. Throw. If heads, you manage to follow the remains of the path. If tails, you spend hours or even days completely lost before you find the path again. Okay. Let's... Dicebot, don't fuck this up for me. No, nope, oh, you fucked, fucked it up oh. for me. Dicebot fucked it up for you. Oh, I think shit. on some level there is a sense of just, like, Harley's just real stressed. No. Mm. Real big stress. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Vesper's definitely like, like offers a lot of hugs. Oh no, oh, sweetheart. Um, I, I think like, I don't know if she would be receptive to hugs at this point. Well, Vesper's gonna try. Aw. <laughs> oh no. A sweet boy. I love Vesper. Yeah. He's very sweet. Okay. Um. So, we need we have two more challenges. Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, somehow I thought you only got four challenges for some reason. No, it's, we were doing um, two each. Yeah. Got it. So, the next one is for Vesper. Um, and I'm going to say a supernatural beast attacks. Ooh. You slay it, but mm. it is poisonous, and it manages to bite slash sting you. Throw. Okay. Um, let me do this. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no! Oh my god, oh, no! no. Um, <gasps> if tails, you spend hours or days in the throes of a terrible fever. Okay, okay. All right, okay. So listen, <laughs> I saw this and I already thought about it. What do we already have in this that bite? Werewolves. Or vampires. Oh, Jesus or vampires. Christ. Oh, no. no. Oh, oh, God. No. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Do you so get bit by a werewolf this. or a vampire? I feel like I should roll more dice for this. <laughs> yeah. So unless, we wanna just vampire, do va unless we want to do vampire just so that we even out the numbers. Right. I also feel like we so at some point decided that werewolves don't work like that. But right. Okay. So I think it was a vampire. Remember. I guess it was a vampire. Yeah. Great. So I feel like it interacts weirdly with the warlock the shit. <laughs> um, oh, no. But God. we don't know yet. God, I hate this. I, mean, I love it. But like, Jesus God. Christ. All right. One more trial. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, <laughs> Y'all, you guys haven't done, like, great on this No, we so have gotten far. one. We are one for five. Yeah, oh that's God. sort of oh, no. technically a fail. Oh, yeah, it's no, there's no way fail, to yeah. win this Odyssey. There, at there's this no way to win the Odyssey. Um, I'm, I just want to give Soul one mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. on, um, on our way out. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Just trying to write an escape one is just, like, God. If anyone else has an idea for how to phrase this, like, please. I, I mean, maybe, maybe you could, like... Sorry. I was going to say either um, Soul manages to escape on on their own as a failure or with the the vampire as a success. Yeah, something like that. One. Yeah. I don't have the brains to write the whole thing, so I say just flip a fucking coin. <laughs> I mean, I think that that works. Yeah. That's your coin. Roll it. All right. Roll it. Throw come it. Come on. Come on. Big money, no whammies. Yes! Yes! Yay! Yeah! So you get 
made out with the vampire, but like y'all are split up and yeah, the, the rest of us just sort the, of we're a terrible rescue up. mission. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that, job, guys. I think we that should we have just say... gone straight for the getting captured plot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think that I think that there are interesting ways to say that this Odyssey fails while not mm-hmm. like well, doing any lasting damage to the vampire who is captured. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I really I mean, want like, that to have the a Odyssey nice failed. Well, the no. Odyssey failed because like the vampire got out, but like you two are fucked and, and like. Well, not in the wilderness somewhere. Well, no, yeah. here's here's how and it could... And now Vesper's a vampire. <laughs> here's how it could ultimately fail. So we just went toe-to-toe with these, with these monster hunters, and now it's personal. It's a grudge. They've, mm. They have no reason to move on from here. Now they want to... Now they want to take over. Mm. So, you, so what we... you're saying is this just got even more personal? Yes. <laughs> yes, Great. that's exactly what it. I'm saying. Yeah. Perfect. So if we ever come back to this, we'll be coming back to Mm -hmm. a bunch of monster hunter turf wars. Yeah. Great. I imagine we get, like, there. there's an uneasy alliance then between, like, Soul and, like, her immediate, like, ring of hunters and, like, the vampire coven that they helped out. Like, I imagine Mm -hmm. that there's, like, alliances are starting to form where they weren't forming before. Um, which could be interesting if we come back to it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. As I just said in the in the chat, uh, kingdom, <laughs> kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be kingdom. very good. Yeah. It would yeah. be really good to come back to this and play kingdom. Yeah. And we definitely. can we can add this one to another recurring to the recurring storylines map. Yeah. Do mm-hmm. we have one of those? Because we probably should. Oh, we're yeah, gonna. We should. We're gonna. Yeah, I'm we gonna should. make one. Yeah. Anyway, Once... we should. I would. I would love to do like soliloquy style epilogues for these mm-hmm. before we wrap. Yeah. If that works yeah. for everyone. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try and figure out what to say. Um. Yeah. No. We can all. I guess take a minute because I need to figure out what I'm going to say as well because I'm first in the turn order. Um. Oh no. I, don't I think what, I know I don't what I'm gonna say. What the fuck? I know what I'm gonna say. Do we want to go in reverse turn order? That works. I also know what I'm going to say. Um, we could also just popcorn mm-hmm. it. Like, we don't have to go in yeah. order. That's yeah. True. Yeah. So, Dora, you can start. Um, so, I, again, uh, Mortal Heroes, uh, uh, a werewolf has taken you as a lover. You are bewitched, <laughs> mind and soul. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Ah! <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, I just caught what you meant by that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's mm-hmm. it, it's not something that that Saul would ever get mushy about, but you know she's definitely bewitched. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love oh, it. It's so I good. It. It's very good. Thank you for making that your epilogue, so I didn't have to. You're welcome. <laughs> um, cool. Um, so I think mine is. Now we can do the you have taken on a mortal champion kind of dealio. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, like, Harley has, like, taken it upon herself to, like, both make sure Vesper knows how to, like, <laughs> protect himself and also make sure that, like, Vesper's not out there destroying shit. Oh, my god. With gosh. his uncontrollable weird warlock vampire merger powers. Um, yeah, what the fuck is up with that? Kind of- yeah, who knows? Yeah. I don't know, but but so I think I think that like that consumes a lot of her time. Not a lot of her time, but that consumes a good amount of her time. And they still keep sparring. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I can do mine. Yeah. Which is I'm going to say you spend your time in thoughtful solitary prayer to your patron god, and your god has responded with an omen of prosperity and health because I think that Vesper's patron has never had a vampire under their control and is like stoked about it and you know it's 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 like I think that this is like an omen of prosperity and health for the patron but for Vesper it's like oh geez what kind of plans are you going to involve me in Mm -hmm. so I think Vesper's a little worried about that but is doing pretty okay at like learning how to control things and like hanging out with his new 
you know, monster friends and is also, like, you know, f finally moving out of, like, the awkward ally stage because he's, like... <laughs> The vampire now? Yeah, now, yeah. now, now this, all, this all works as a great allegory because now he's like, come out. <laughs> God, I, hate it. I oh love my it. God. God. <laughs> this is so good. Thanks, I hate it. Okay, um, so my soliloquy is, there is a war brewing between two mortal kingdoms and you have promised your aid to the ruler of one kingdom. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to say is that Garion's very aware of this war that's gonna about to start between like, the people of our city and these outside hunters um, or like the people of our like little underground uh, supernatural community and these outside hunters and of course he's promised his aid the aid of a very powerful very old werewolf or fucking old werewolf a very powerful and old vampire um, mm -hmm. to like the rest of the supernatural people who live in the city and also Begrudgingly, he's offering his help to Vesper as a new vampire who understands Aww. nothing. Aww. Adorable. Because I'm guessing that whoever bit him is not doing taking great care of him. No, no. And um, Garion knows that one real well because his sire <laughs> fucking abandoned him for 300 years and then came back as a completely different magical being. Mm, God. So Garion's going to look out for this dumb idiot child. Aww. Great. I love it. Um, it's funny because I'm also going hug. to do there's a war brewing between mortal t between two mortal kingdoms or, you know, two mm -hmm. factions of hunters and whatever. Um, and you watch from a distance delighted by the spectacle. Because um, I think... <laughs> oh, no. I think... I don't think <sighs> that Ruben is, like, necessarily, like... Like, Ruben doesn't <sighs> want war. But they're also chaotic mm -hmm. neutral. Like... Mm -mm. Like they're gonna, they're That's gonna so try. That's so valid. Yeah, they're not, they're not gonna get involved unless like someone that they like ca mm, care is a big word, but someone that they like um, gets hurt. Um, but until that happens, they're just gonna sit by and watch. Doesn't matter to them. It That's will. So it will. So but uh, but it doesn't yet. It doesn't yet. So. It's fine. That's so fair. I'm sure that Garion basically feels the same, but, like, is also, like, willing to help, you know, specifically Vesper, because Vesper's mm -hmm. kind of in the same boat that Garion was in 300 years Vesper. ago. Right. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves this, this very small, very helpless twink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like when you see a puppy on the side of the road, you gotta help it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's useless and defenseless. <laughs> and All right. So are those are those are our epilogues? Yeah. Um, yep. Shall we shall we outro out? Um, yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. So I guess going going again in turn order. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm Han. You can find me at Mercutio's, and you can find the show at FTL Cast. Um, I'm Kales. I'm still Kales. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Citadel of Swords. I'm Alex. You can find me on Twitter at Kisma Nemesis. Uh, I'm Dora. You can find me on Twitter at Harpy Dora. And I'm Sam. You can find me on Twitter at SAKalo. Thanks for joining us. Ooh. All right. Ooh, Shall yeah. we clap? Okay. Let's, yeah, let's clap. clap.
it's Dora, and I just wanted to thank you for listening. If you've enjoyed us, please consider leaving a rating on iTunes, telling your friends about us, or tweeting about our show using the FTLcast hashtag. No, seriously, we crave the validation and it helps us out. Your support really means a lot. Thanks again!